hello guys welcome to my part 8 of my uh, video tutorials now in this we'll see the implementation of if else condition now for this we'll create a new file new java file so we have to right click on your project and say new and this will be fine you will find something on the java class and in java class we'll name it as uh name it as demo if finish okay so now we have this new file remove all this code all this comment okay and now here what we can do is we, we, we need to write some code right and when we write some code we only write some statements which will be executed those statements should belongs to a function called as main function so we have to say public static void main the shortcut we can use is psvm and tab so we are getting the PSVM thing. Now in this, what we need to do is we, uh, we will we will check for a given number if it is a even number or an odd number, right? So to check a given number is even or odd, what we have to do is we have to uh, we have to check it with the help of uh, we, when we divide a number by two, if it gives us a remainder one, it is an odd number. So if it gives you remainder zero, it's a even number, right? So to implement that part, we, what we'll do is we'll take a number, a, a variable num1, in which I will save a value 5. Okay. Now what next? Uh, we have to check, right? So to, to uh, check something, we have to use if statement. This is also called as control statement. So in this, uh, we have to pass uh, num1. We have to check num1 that it is when we divide. 2 divide this number by 2 we should get a remainder some remainder right so to get the remainder we have to say mod so there is a symbol called as mod this is your percentage sign this is your mod symbol when you say the mod 2 if you are getting a value 0 if your remainder is 0 you can say you can say the number is even so you have to enclose all this part in this curly braces then else part now, if your number, if this condition is true, it will execute this part. If this condition is false, it will go to else. So in else, if your number is not even, it should be odd, right? Simple. Now, when I run this code, Shift F6, when I run this code, it's taking some time. Yeah, the answer is odd. Now, if I change this number to 8, if I change this number to 8, and now if I run this, the answer is even, right? Now, now we'll, this is your if and else. Now, what if, if you have multiple conditions? Like, if I check a given number, like, uh, let's, let's go for three numbers. This time, we'll go for three numbers. Let's suppose A, b and c okay and a's initial value is 4 b's value is 3 and c value is 8 now we want to print the biggest number we have to print the greatest number so what we can do is we have to check again now we have to check now how will you check to check the greater number in this what we need to do is we have to check first a let's we'll check if a is greater or not so we have to say a greater than b if a is greater than b and it should be greater than c right it should be a greater than b and it should be greater than c so when you say we have this and condition we have to use ampersand ampersand so ampersand ampersand defines and condition okay and then we can see a is greater than c so if a is greater than b and a is greater than c we can say a okay then we'll say else if now we are again checking that b is greater than so we have to say else if so in this b is greater than c see if a is greater than b and a is greater than c then your a is greater if your a if this condition gives you false result if your result is false it means a is not greater right so we have to check b is greater than c we don't need we, we don't need to check we don't need to check this part 
बेस गेजर देन ए बिकॉज वी नो दैट ए इज स्मॉलर नाउ सो वी हैव टू चेक बेस गेजर देन सी सो हियर आउटपुट विल बी बी ना इफ ए इज नॉट ग्रेटर बी इज नॉट ग्रेटर आउटपुट विल बी सी इज ग्रेटर राइट सो वी हैव टू से एस आउट सी सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट इफ एल्स कंडीशन ओके एंड हियर वॉट मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दिस एम्पर्स एंड एम्पर्सन विच इज विच सिग्निफाइज इट इज एंड ऑपरेशन so we have c right to so say is greater now if i make it this as 13 this 13 so output will be b right because b is greater now now how this and operation works is for this we'll take a notepad okay now how how this and works is let's suppose you have a value if you have a operator a and b if If A is true and B is true, you will get the output as true in AND operation. So we have to use AND operation. If your A is true and B is false, the output will be false. If your B is A is false and B is true, again it will give you F false. if both are false you will get false it means in and operation if one is true if both are true you will get the result as true now you can also think uh, you you can also talk about or operation so we have logical operation or in which you have a b and for or operation you have to use two pipes okay if both are true you will get two true if one is true second is false you will get true if both uh, if Oh, a is false b is true you will get true if both are false you will get false right so in this if all are if any one of them is true you will get true now in this uh you can remember in this way imagine true as something and f as nothing so when you have something plus something you will get something right you will get something something plus nothing you will get something nothing plus something you will again get something and nothing plus nothing you will get nothing so this is how you can implement here something nothing logic here you can implement a logic of pure water in pure water so t is pure water f is impure water so you have pure water when you mix it with pure water you will get pure water if you mix pure water with impure water you will get impure water impure water with pure water you will get impure water and impure water impure water you will mix it you will get impure water so this is how you can implement this logic so in this we are using and operation it means both should be true so that we will execute a okay so this is how you can you can implement if else condition now one more thing to be noted here uh if if your if block if your block has only one statement one executable statement then curly braces is not compulsory so you, what we can do is we can remove this curly braces it still will it, it will still work okay so in case uh, if you have only one statement there is no need of curly curly braces so now if i run this what will it still be right it's working so i uh, hope it will it uh, you understand something and now do subscribe for the further videos thank you so much